Okay, so question, does body count matter? Oh, this is gonna be an interesting one. So how this series works is I bring a couple friends on with differing opinions and then we yell at each other for 15 to 16 minutes. Some of us believe body count matters and some of us don't. And from there, we try to convince each other otherwise. So let's see at the end of this, who you agree with the most and what your take is. Anyways, let's get started. So all right, I've brought all of y'all here to answer a specific relationship question. I'm, I'm now scared though, because I think it, it'll just get everyone ganged up on me, but let's go. Whatever. Promising. <laughs> uh, does body count matter? First, I want to start with first guest, Fly with Johnny Ty. Hello. So where do you stand on this? I stand at it does not matter at all. After living with you, I have no, I'm not surprised at all that that is how you feel. <laughs> wow. Next up, we have Rule Aesthetic, AKA Christian from Recreo. Um, what is, what is your take? It does not matter to me at all there's no there's no yeah. i wasn't leading and there's no punchline it doesn't matter it doesn't matter and then um last crystal marie from beyond the bot and uh, many of other uh things. <laughs> many of others great preface first of many hats stop well yeah i'm only flattering you so i can get you to agree with me but <laughs> yeah what's your take what is your take my take is it can matter. Oh, okay. All right, I feel way better now. It Let's can go. matter. <laughs> that's it a can. that's a soft yeah. You know, imagine she goes. It can matter if you're pussy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yikes! All right, so as y'all can guess, very very weird opinion. I feel like, but I think I don't think it should matter, but it does matter to me. Fair enough. That's what that's I have fair. to say. All right, now that everyone has chosen their side, now let's discuss our stances here. And uh, first of all, I want to start with Crystal, my teammate. Um, Crystal, what do you mean? <laughs> what? What, what do you mean? mean? What do I mean? Like, what does sometimes matter mean? Okay, so here's the thing. For example, I feel that it can matter based, for example, on your current age. Yeah. Ooh, okay. That's a good one. Okay. Yeah, I feel like anyone can agree. Like, if you're 18 with 40. Oh my God. Uh, how? What are you? What? Yeah. How? <laughs> what he are says you doing? speed run. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, speed run herpes. Oh my god! <laughs> he said yeah. STD speed run world record 100% completion. Help. Definitely on the completion. Okay, I uh, think we can all agree. On that. I mean, Jesus, is 40 the number? Is 40 the? Yeah, I I don't. This is an arbitrary number. That I feel like 40 is a high number. Not that I know anything. 40 is a high pretty, all that time is pretty number. high. Yeah, yeah so that's kind of wild. Like, damn, if you're 40 years old, it's at least one person since you were born every Whoa, year. Whoa! Oh, I don't right. like the way you. Okay, play. that did not come out the way intended. That's not yeah, what I meant. Uh, um, hey guys, for the record, the girl is Crystal, not Christian. <laughs> In, so uh, put that shit off me. It can be, you know, if it's if you're that young, it makes me want because you you know I don't feel like when you're that young you know hygiene well. Uh, That's true. Hmm. So yeah, there, it's, it's different. But you have the same body count when you're like your 20s, late 20s. Then I'm thinking, no, you just know how to roll. Okay, that's different. So I think the real thing here is if you're young and you have a high body count, it's just safety is the main part. Yeah. It's not rest necessarily morals because you're young and horny. It's like eating and then fucking are the two things that you think about after school. Maybe at the same time. You're at the door. Popeyes yep. and a quick fuck. It's cool. Damn, what are you Can I get a t-shirt with that? Popeyes and a quick fuck. Uh, <laughs> Popeyes and a quick fuck. You're swiping your lunch card and your V card. Uh, <laughs> Wait, but then, like, what if they're my age and they're clocking in like 80? 80 is big. Yeah. <laughs> you have to double it for her. Yeah. 80 is huge. You don't just speed run that. That sh comes with time. It was her profession. You know what I mean? She was, yeah. She was a pro. Wow. Because <laughs> you can get maybe 20 in like a couple months. Mm -hmm. But 80 is like, oh, this boy put in the yeah. 10,000 hours. I <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> He's a master. <laughs> this guy's a really yeah, old your great. You're he's a, a master. Titan of industry. He'll come out with an online course for that. She man. went to Skillshare. He teaches a Skillshare <laughs> course on. No, sex. she hosted Skillshare. God. This is where I plugged the brain. This Skillshare is an online learning community. <laughs> So we all agree on that. So let's let's bring it a bit more controversial. And I, I guess this is the point where I bring up how I feel. Okay. I feel deep down that it should not matter, but that is not how I feel. When I look at the situation, I'm like, nah, I would prefer it a certain way. Do you know why? Does it intimidate you? You could say that's a reason. 
you could say that's definitely one of the reasons. On the other hand, it would be nice if they have more experience. Mm -hmm. I'd mm -hmm. like to have a good time. Mm -hmm. That's fair. But then there's also the part of me that's like, damn, am I good enough? Do, am I going to do a good enough job? And I think that's what makes some people uncomfortable. That's not my main reason, but mm. I could see that as being uh, some people's reasoning. You want a mm. sensei and a saint is what you're saying. Yeah, bro, you want your cake and to eat it too. Huh? I mean, that's what most people do. You should be <laughs> able to bake a cake and then also eat it. Anyway, I feel like for most people because of that, there's like this mental hurdle there. Portal? <laughs> Bro, oh wow, that portal. slip! Yeah, but a yeah, Freudian slip <laughs> there. Four. Is there a is there a mental game? With, Are you talking about yourself or someone else? Let's say both for a mental game for you and like, do you care about what they may think about you if they've had a lot? I of mean, initially when I was a lot more insecure, yeah, I thought a lot about uh, what they how they felt. Yeah. Um, but as I got a little bit older, I just didn't really care. What what made you change? Uh, oh, I, ch I think I just changed as a... Get a pussy, bro! <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe it's a body count. It's, I think it's just confidence as a person as well. True. Just getting older and maturing. Mm -hmm. So I started to care uh -huh. less about that. Whereas back uh -huh. then I was just insecure about everything about me almost. Um, so I think it comes with, with age and experience. I think that's a big reason a lot of people might think of it is because they're like, man, they've had like, been with 80 people. Mm -hmm. Like, what, do, what am I? But I, it should Get ready to be underwhelmed. The going up. I, got a good, I, got a, I got a good angle. So for that, yeah. my, my POV on that, I now don't care. Like, it doesn't even matter. I'm like, dude. Oh, did you care before? I, before when I was like the first girl that I got with had slept with other people and I, and I was a virgin. So, it, mm. of course, initially, I'm just like, oh, my God, it's going to be so bad yeah. for her. You know, I think we all care initially a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Initially. Yeah, initially. Yeah. yeah. But then my angle at some point was, OK, if a girl slept with so many guys, I'm bound to be better than one of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's bound to be someone worse than me. You know what I mean? That's, that is true bro i can see it i can't do those mental gymnastics but yo i can see that working bro she slept with working. 30 guys there's bound to be some bad ones in there there's bound to be some inexperienced guys there's bound to be a couple virgins in there there's no way that you're worse than 30 yeah. guys and if you are you're the problem thank you for watching the video this video is sponsored by skillshare <laughs> skillshare is an online yeah. learning community where millions wait, wait so so then does it mean is it worse if they've only had one other Partner. So, but what if that one other partner is Johnny Sins? <laughs> oh, shit. yeah, no, I'm mean, like, that would flip it. It would be like, damn, what do I do? <laughs> so, body count does matter, it's too exactly. low. You're gonna have to get disappointed by a few more people <laughs> before you get with me. This is where you know the character of the person who's assessing the body count can yeah. come in. Because if you're mm -hmm. if you want, if you want, you could instead get creative and think, hmm. Maybe I can bring that one angle that I know this other guy did not bring in. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I was going to go for tentacle porn. But okay. let's just say that you go instead for what? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm not. No. <laughs> Look, I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, we're just observing. Just really, distance. Really I'm just saying there are, over that. there are so many fun things that can be explored. There's no way that even that one amazing other person brought it all to the mm -hmm. table. There's got to be mm -hmm. some kink you can uncover that will be yours and yours alone you just okay. gotta figure it out <laughs> we gotta break uh, into this do you guys have one what's your weapon next question <laughs> <laughs> but basically if they if, if there's a lot of of for 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 me at least like i would have rather to have someone who had had a lot of experience because yeah. there's a lot going on down there <laughs> And when mm -hmm. you're starting out, you don't know how it all operates necessarily. Mm -hmm. and, and and especially with, um, and I'm so sorry, but you guys sometimes even with a lot of experience don't know how everything operates down there. And I think practice makes perfect sometimes. I think I see what you mean where it's like, if someone's inexperienced, it comes with the drawback that they're not gonna know what they're doing, which is the insecurity yeah. for the guy. In, yeah. You know, yeah. ironically, that's what the guy's thinking about. Insecurity stuff aside, though, that's not even like my my main main reason though. Mine specifically for why body count matters per se is because of like the high emotional regard I hold doing it with someone. You're a Scorpio though. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean I'm not very horny. <laughs> so, so like in my family, because of how my parents acted, because my parents were wild, yo. 
I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> like, yeah, Christian and Johnny are laughing because they know, but I, my parents went crazy, bro. And and when you go through stuff, it makes you like realize, damn, I shouldn't have did that. And you raise your kids differently. So I was kind of raised, although having an immense drive, that intercourse is like, yo, it's something I'ma share with someone I really care about. But going into college, I was like, you know what? Bump it. It, it shouldn't matter though, right? So my first was, may we say, a virgin killer. Was yeah. Wow. Like I was cool with her, like you know, having a lot of like partners, until she had cheated on me, right? Which doesn't have to do anything with body count, but her as a person. But when it did, was like we broke up, right? And how I felt about sex still stayed the same. I want, if I'm going to do it, it's going to be with someone I care about. I'm not going to care about someone for a while. Her, on the other hand, left and right laying dudes out i'm hearing about it you literally heard i am it. hearing about it they are fr i'm friends Let's friends <laughs> so I, i'm like <laughs> man Kurt, do you need a hug yeah <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. And, and so that gave me like this mentality where i'm like it should not matter but one i'm scarred because i'm like i want them to value it where i value it like because if we're gonna do it it means that we're special and this took work in my eyes right just to me so if i feel that and then stuff happens and then you just do it with someone else ah that hurts yo <laughs> so i'd much rather do it with someone who valued it at the same way as me not to say that there's anything wrong with them doing that but just for me you know mm -hmm. Mm. I honestly that's the biggest reason why I think it's because of that scar I never was really hype about it because I don't want I'd prefer if you had the same values as me not to say those values are wrong like just because someone like believes in being vegan and I don't or mean tentacle like, research just because someone likes tentacles and I'm only like them a little bit it doesn't change things but that <laughs> was like really put me where I was like I can't I I, can't. I mean look you're this not how I feel yo you're not totally wrong I honestly yeah. I can say all I want about how it doesn't matter to me or you mm -hmm. you be you do you you do anything boo but at the sure. same time I am gonna probably judge you just a little if I find out <laughs> <laughs> like, is there like, a number? If is there a number like, for y'all? Oh, you're like, if it's mm -hmm. like, it's not even a number for me so much as if I see it constantly happening in my face, eventually, like, mm -hmm. at some point, I just think, yo, first of all, economically, that makes no sense. Second, because if you have someone that you can like economically, that yeah, you, yeah. Back to the listen you to what to. <laughs> if you can hit up someone, you know, on the regular, then the investment is not as high as every time you have to convince a new partner and lure them into your mm -hmm. cave. What are you doing, you know. Chris? <laughs> You're really playing into this tentacles thing with the cave talk. <laughs> this tentacle, so yeah. So here's like how, here's how I view like the body, like just the numbers in general. When I hear their number, I think about it, right? It's not like I'm like, okay, whatever, right? I think about it and then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, I may have some initial thoughts initially, just like, you know, some older people might have for, uh, a 21 year old trying to yeah. break into their field, right? Yeah. Um, but what matters is just the person they are. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not gonna judge them based off their age or mm -hmm. their body count numbers, just who they are as a, a person. Yeah. So when it comes to relationships, yeah, that's that's all I think about. Um, the numbers don't matter, it just depends on who they are. That's good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think that's- Right, personality, that's like a thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, and who would <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. Wait, you, guys, date a bad person. you guys just don't date based on body count? What? Am I wrong? Has someone not done that? The main thing here is, does body count matter? It depends on the person. Are it depends on fish? the context. Yeah. It de there's a lot of things that matter. There's no clear answer. Ostensibly, everyone thinks, oh, if someone slept with a lot of people, they're fucking nasty. But also, you got to think maybe they slept with a lot of people. They know what they're doing more so than the guy or girl that slept with one person. So there's a lot of context that needs to be had here. I believe at the end of the day, the body count is not going to factor in whether or not I find a person fascinating and mm. want them. Like the yeah, desire the part is not going to be affected by that. And that's why it's not even a thing I ever ask of anyone because mm -hmm. it's a not really my business. It's their private life. And B, by the time we get to a point where we are sharing that about ourselves, it's because we've established we're interested in each other. So yeah. then it's more yeah. about who are you than yeah. what have you done with your body and the many things I plan to do with your body. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. if so, I met yeah. someone who I knew was the one that that 
whole thing doesn't matter it should of course i'm still going to feel a ways because of shit i've been through mm -hmm. but at the end of the day i will still pick them because i pick them on the premise that they're a good person they're the right one for me and if they're the right one for the for me it's on the implication that they wouldn't pull some shit on me mm -hmm. that's something to do with that so I, I think we can all come to like a similar conclusion uh, now we're all putting our final thoughts johnny what are your your final thoughts i mean i say the same like when it comes to age or weight or you know body count it just matters what kind of person they are um well mm. age just kind of it kind of matters like they got to be legal obviously independent you know, <laughs> so like, <laughs> i don't, don't want to put that fast, out there bro <laughs> Thank you for including that uh, one. Gotta clarify that. that oh clear. <laughs> <laughs> that is where I stand. But also, I, like mm. me as a person who've had who's had a lot of experience, um, people can change. You know, I went through an, an F boy phase. I feel like everyone, a lot of people go through it, and they get to mm. experience what, to see what's out there and see what they actually like. And at least for me, I in reality, I just wanted to be in a relationship. You know, mm -hmm. um, I kind of got tired of the F boy life, and you know, I found uh, a partner, and yeah, we're, we're still together. So, and yeah, no oh, desire for anything else or anyone else. But at the end, at the end, it shouldn't matter. Yeah, it should. At matter. the end, do you both want to go to a vampire club and party together? I I don't know where you're going, Crystal, but have fun over there in the that under aquarium vampire club. <laughs> well, Crystal got fucking tentacles. She's half dolphin yeah, now. What else? Where, where Hashtag where? monster. <laughs> yeah, goddamn. All right, all okay, all okay. Skillshare. Like, this is where we do the break. Yeah. Crystal? Skillshare. Skillshare. Is a... Skillshare. Anyways, this video is sponsored by Rage. I know. I'm... It actually is sponsored by Skillshare. It's a Skillshare video. See, if you didn't know, Skillshare is an online learning community that gives you membership with meaning, giving you access to a myriad of classes that give you the ability to learn just about anything with just a few click -roonies. Like everyone to dive deep into your passion and improve your craft. Well, Skillshare has got you, my friends. Now, I am legally obligated to tell you that Skillshare does not have any uh, crystal nasty classes, but they cover a ton of creative fields from photography to art to even self-help and improvement, which some of us who are in this video definitely need. <laughs> As I told y'all last time, I'm still trying to figure out how to make this whole thing easier for my manga artists. So I've been checking out Learn to Storyboard, The First Steps of Storyboarding by Leo Matsuda. And you can even learn at a super great rate. And that's less than $10 a month. Yes, $10 a month. You better act quick because only the first 1,000 people who click my link in the description will get the chance. So if you want to learn a lot and save a lot, click the link in the description and get to learning with tens of thousands of others with Skillshare. Thank you so much, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Oh, what's up, y'all? Is your boy now at um a computer desk? Uh, just because I'm too lazy to get my camera. Yo, I want to thank you guys so much for watching that video. I could be completely wrong, and this video is terrible, but I feel like a lot of y'all uh, might watch this one. So, yo, may maybe think about subscribing to the channel, or at least you know, watching some other stuff. I have a couple more videos like this, like the sixty million dollars one and the would you consider the cheating one. But yo, let me know if you like those types of videos, and I I can make more. Uh, there still will be stories though. And also, I want to give a huge thanks to my patrons i am nothing without y'all you're the reason i don't have to eat ice sandwiches all the time thank you so much um this video is definitely not getting monetized so please please check out the patreon please uh but yeah that's all i got yo thank you for everyone uh for watching uh the super long <laughs> take uh just thank you uh for everyone who joined me uh crystal uh frugal ass uh fly with johnny tie uh thank you guys for coming check them out in the description uh but that's all i got i will catch y'all next time um peace